Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. So this week we'll be looking at inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning. The first learning outcome would be identifying inductive reasoning. The second would be identifying deductive reasoning. And the third one is identifying assumptions in a text. Now, suppose reasoning is a method used by writers in order to determine the conclusion of his main idea. In other words, once the author is done stating his or her main idea and done elaborating the main ideas with explanation and examples, the author may include a conclusion or a concluding sentence to the end sorry, to end the, the so-called discussion. The conclusion derived from the main idea is basically decided using the reasoning method. There are two reasoning methods, namely inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning. So all in all, inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning are two methods for a reader to use in order to decide what is the conclusion of the main idea stated by the writer in the passage. So for example, if you read a passage, you know what the main idea is. Basically, the main idea talks about how uh, can we improve English, for example. And the first paragraph talks about uh, the first way to improve English is um, by watching English movies. And of course, uh, that main point is elaborated and also uh, uh, supported with examples, evidence, so on and so forth. Now it's your time to decide what would be the conclusion. So in order for us to decide what is the conclusion of the whole paragraph, if you're looking at the paragraph level, or perhaps if you are going to look at what is the conclusion for the whole passage, if you're looking at passage level. So in order for us to decide the conclusion, we need to use the reasoning methods. And there are two types of reasonings. And the first one is inductive, the second one is deductive. Let us look at inductive reasoning. Now, it begins with specific instances in a form of evidence or examples or details. They are very specific. And towards the end, you can see that it is a generalization of a conclusion, which means a general conclusion. Begin with something specific and it ends with a general conclusion that is inductive. Now, general conclusion, probable, not definite. So in for you to remember inductive reasoning, the word inductive, I, is equivalent to the word I, indefinite. So inductive, I, equivalent to indefinite, I, I and I. Indefinite means something that is not sure, something that contains possibility or probability. So it can be changed as the specific instances change. So if your instances or your examples change, the conclusion can also change because the conclusion is not definite. Or in other words, the conclusion is indefinite. Some of the clues that you may want to look at in order for you to decide whether that is inductive or deductive. So for inductive, clues like can, may, likely, possibly, probably, those are your clues. As I mentioned to you, since the conclusion is general or the conclusion is not definite, therefore, the words like can, may, likely, probably, possibly, those are the words that indicate things that are not sure or things that are general. Now, let us look at the following example. What are the details mentioned in the excerpt? As you can see here, we have evidence in the United States, alcohol, so on until the end. Evidence number two, in rape situation, so on until the end. These are evidence. If you look back at the notes that I've given before, 
instances, evidence, examples, or elaborations. Those are instances. So these are your instances. And as you can see here, your instances are very specific. We're talking about 53% or 66 percent and then in rape situation 50 percent those are specific numbers talking about specific things and let us look at the conclusion there is evidence to show a connection between substance abuse and crime this is a conclusion and the conclusion is general and as you can see here the conclusion is not definite or the conclusion is likely to happen can happen may happen and if we were to refer back to the evidence just now and if the numbers are changing therefore we can see that the conclusion will also change now let us move on to deductive reasoning now deductive reasoning on the other hand it begins with something general now the general can only be applicable to instances as compared to inductive it starts with in sorry it starts with specific instances deductive on the other hand it begins with general instances and your instances can consist of either evidence or examples or even details and towards the end as you can see, it derives a specific conclusion. In a way of saying this, deductive reasoning is totally the opposite of inductive reasoning. Now, if you cannot remember both, I highly suggest you to only focus on one. For example, you just memorize about inductive reasoning because whatever that is about inductive reasoning, deductive reasoning is totally the opposite. Study smart. So specific conclusion, therefore, the conclusion is certain or definite. So as you can remember here, this is how you can do or this is a tip that I can share with you to remember this. Just now I mentioned inductive reasoning leads to indefinite conclusion. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, if we look at deductive reasoning, it leads to definite conclusion. So D and D, I and I. So clue words are like so, therefore, thus, hence. Those are the words that sound definite. Even the word definite, it can be definitely, ultimately, for sure. Those are your clues. Let us look at this example. Now, what are the details mentioned in the excerpt? Evidence 1 and Evidence 2. And as you can see here, those ev this evidence does not portray any specific instances. So it begins with general instances. But the conclusion derived from these general instances, those blazing full pitch cell phone ads in newspapers and magazines must be the reason cell phone dangers, sorry, cell phone dangers are almost never discussed in the means very specific, talking about specific situation, specific um, circumstance uh, with specific examples. Everything is specific here. And this is the conclusion. So here are some exercises that you can do on your own. That's all. Thank you.